Uh, the high school football season is here, and private schools all around Maryland kick off tomorrow. And one of the best in Baltimore is expected to be yet again St. Francis Academy. ABC 2 News' Sean Stepner is with the Panthers tonight. Feels good to be back. Well, great to be back. There's a familiar Baltimore football voice back on the high school sidelines. Longtime Gilman head coach Biff Pogey is now leading St. Francis. This team is really good. Uh, we have a lot of very good players, but more importantly, they've worked really hard. Pogey returns to the area after spending over a year on the University of Michigan football staff. I learned more football in 17 months that I was there than I've learned in my whole career. He inherits a Panthers team coming off a of Maryland Interscholastic Athletic Association A Conference Championship. Poji is officially a co-head coach alongside Henry Russell. Most of the current coaching staff was with them at Gilman. Those guys did an unbelievable job. And so really I'm walking into a situation where Henry and his staff just really laid out the, the, the game plan. Set, hit. On defense, St. Francis is led by the top-ranked defensive end in the country. Six foot five, 230-pound senior, Iyabi Anoma. My mindset is just get after it. I, I need the other person to feel like where I'm coming from. Like I need like when I leave the game, I want the other person to be like, wow, I don't, I don't want to play against them no more. On offense, the Panthers are going with a pair of junior quarterbacks, Logan Holgerson and Jalen Jones. Their primary weapon will be senior wideout Randy Fields, who was committed to West Virginia. We have great pieces. We're putting them all together. Um, our offense is about competing. We have hard workers, so I feel as though we're going to be great. Hey! Things get going for real for St. Francis tomorrow at 12 p.m. when they open the season against Canada Football Prep out of Ontario right here at Dunbar High School football field. In Baltimore, Sean Stepner, ABC2 News.